So what do you make of uh, the president's statement about the CP charity yesterday? The statement by the president uh, in relation to the judiciary and defying court orders, in my view, was both reckless and dangerous. The Constitution of Kenya uh, lays out clearly, in clear terms, the system of checks and balances. And it's not upon the president to uh, cherry pick which decisions he's going to defy and which ones he's not going to defy. There's a clear procedure for overturning uh, even decisions which are purportedly uh, obtained through uh, fraudulent, uh, fraud or uh, corrupt practices. Or the other alternative is uh, to use the, uh, the Ju Judicial Service Commission in which the president has representatives and he, he can cause uh, a judge uh, to be taken through a tribunal for uh, a decision to, to be made on that question of uh, corruption, whether the decisions a judge is making is against you know, the law. And on top of it, he, he can make a report to the appropriate uh, officers, including the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, to the um, Inspector General of Police, if a judge in, indeed has been bribed. Uh, these are all the tools the president could use, but he cannot say that he is going to defy a judicial decision. So long as that judicial decision is not overturned, is part of the law of the land. And I think of all the statements the president has made, this is the most dangerous, is the most reckless, is undermining the constitution and the sovereign power of the people because ju ju judicial authority is delegated to the executive, to, I mean to, 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 to the courts. And the judiciary does not share the ju judicial authority with the President of the Republic of Kenya. And therefore, if this matter is not dealt with appropriately and put it in its rightful place, it can cause anarchy. You remember in Uganda, across here in Uganda, a whole chief justice uh, was assassinated, Kiwanuka, because the president in that country did not like the decisions that he was making. In uh, a country called, um, uh, in, in Southern Africa, called Lesotho, there was an election. And the prime minister then, Chief Lebois, said, yes, there's been an election. I disagree. I'm not going anywhere. So he defied an entire electoral process. Me, I have had the privilege of defending a judicial officer, uh, the Deputy Chief, Chief Justice of Kenya, in a matter in which she was framed uh, out of annoyance uh, from the decision she had made, sitting in an uh, electoral court, the presidential uh, petition for the elections, elections held in 2017. And, uh, Again, uh, we, we are not saying the, the previous regime was any better. We, we had some of the most brilliant judges, uh, like Odunga, like Ngugi, you know, whose appointments were, were not affected, purportedly because uh, there uh, were certain reports about uh, the, the, their, their conduct, which was unproven. The president has his representatives in the Judicial Service Commission uh, and no uh, lesser office sits in that commission uh, uh, but, the, but the Attorney General. They are representatives of the, from the parliamentary, uh, from the Public Service Commission and other bodies which can deal with the questions that the president is raising. But I, I think it's most unfortunate knowing that what we have fought for uh, was to secure the independence of the, uh, of the judiciary. Above all, the Constitution requires the president specifically to ensure the promotion of the rule of law. The Constitution requires of the president as part of his functions to defend and protect the Constitution. Now, the language the president is using, obviously, is outside the realm of the Constitution. No president uh, speaking in a system where there's a system of checks and balances, 
where executive authority is limited. And I think that should be understood, that executive power is limited by law. There are things he cannot do. And if he does anything that does not fall within the realm of his powers, including defying court orders, abrogating the Constitution, violating the Constitution, those attract uh, punishment uh, and penal sanctions uh, that, that, that the president uh, m must, must be taken through. He's not above the law. So this, this place is a place we have been to. The whole struggle for second liberation, uh, one of the pillars, key pillars we were fighting for, was to ensure that we have an independent ju judiciary. So these comments were unfortunate and should not have been made. It undermines the authority of all institutions because if there's no rule of law, if the president can cherry pick which court orders to obey and which ones not to obey, then we are living in a very uh, unsafe place. Uh, and this uh, cannot be allowed under any circumstances. Erokamano, Nyoro Jatan Pino Achone Buchemialo e od bura ko kal e yo moko hero to eno nyalo dia dia nyime otimo gimoro aro ma en gimoko winjere kendo ok en kare kata maten ya tend pain ni obende ene bo chek katiba mwango e kenya dwaro ni ute bura oti ma onge eh gimoro ma bugo ko migao moro kero bed bunge kero bed uh, or uh, uh, Karobed Bunge, Karobed uh, Executive, Manya Lord Donjo Eweche, Ma Old Bura, Kata uh, Doho, Madungo Kalo, Kata Doho, Bed Matin Machalonadi. Omeo Jatan Pin Dokoa, Kama Newan Tia Chon, Tomao Kwanya Lia Kata Matin, Nikage, Obey any Bochek. Kani Tia Gima Doho Kalo, Niti Yoremangan. Ke yodo ni ni doho no kalo gimoro to meta jaten doho yodo karami nyonge moro mo konego yodi kata niti mi ba de moro niti yore mangeny ma wachno inyalo logo mo kongo jaten doho no inyalo make mara reyo inyalo tere bo judicial service commission kata bende ko Ter complaint man mare yo makare kara iwak yo makare to porinya lo kero tribunal ma yalo watch ne mi gole kaka nisho no gole judge ma high court miloni chitembwe omiyo watch ni o ken watch maten en gima nyalo miyo pen ni me kanyo bed kama tech mo ko injere to magi wasena no dalo mo ko kanyo kara Jotelo mo no kalo ne wa cho ni gin gin ge teko magi jalo ti matemo gi mo mo aduaro nda lo kanu ne inti kara nda lo mo ko mo no wa cho ni president nyalo riembo judge sa sa mo aduaro mama ne ya chil ko mugi mo no kelo tabu peini mo mio jino di oko ka wa cho ne wa no aduaro judges kara magistrates man gi security of tenure. Ma ka yalo gi moro to gi yalo ka gin tuolo. Omiyo mai wadagi kendo ko uye go karamaten. Gi ma neno ne gi ni yalo kelo gi ma ilungu ni anaki ipen. To mara reyo be nyiso ne ko pogre gi joma ose bedo gi buche mo pogre pogre doho mo uok mo oacha ne kata onga adbura maraj to mane chik. To mare ni nyiso ni koro ka en ge teko. To higi ni mabiro. Kata ka electoral commission wacho ni oyombe. Kata ka odoho maduongo wacho ni okno yere kare kata ni oyombe. To nyalo wacho kaka chief lebo Jonathan Malesoto no wacho ni en duoko mare electoral commission kata madoho oko luo eno luo ge mado haro. O miyo ma oken gi makare a pain more to arrow uh mundo bedi a kenya kai thank you so so
Senhor.